What's going on, AWG fam? Welcome back to the channel. Today I got some of the Dodo King himself, Donut Operator. And I've actually seen the video that, I like, I haven't seen his video and what he has to say about it, but I have seen the video footage of uh, the heist that went bad in South Africa. Fucking insane shit. It's badass. Badass. So, uh... We're going to go ahead and jump into that. But make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe before we do that. And let's do this shit. Hi, everyone. Donut here. Yeah, this isn't the shooting breakdown. I'm sorry. I mean, there's a shooting in this video, but the shooting breakdown I've been preparing all week is not going up tonight because I want to make sure it's good because an officer lost his life in it. And I just, you know, I, I don't want it to be a crappy video. Also, today I was busy editing a video for Kentucky Ballistics. I can't wait damn. for you to see it. I did an I Hate Gear Reviews on folding tables. Here, I'll show you a little bit of it. I definitely just threw out my shoulder. Not safe for Scott's <laughs> jam. <laughs> I am Iron Man. <laughs> You may have already seen the video that we're going to talk about today. It's pretty gnarly. My buddies over at Funker 530 put it up a little bit over a week ago, and it has 40 million views. Holy shit. Praetoria. Praetoria. Pra Praetoria? Praetoria. Praetoria, South Africa. April 22nd, 2021. Two men were transporting money. People like stealing money. That's what they tried to do, but little did they know, this guy was in the truck driving. His name is Leo Prinsloo. He's a former SWAT guy. Well, like African SWAT. It's called SAP, Special Task Force. It's an elite police tactical unit of the South African Police Service. The Special Task Force handles high-risk operations that fall beyond the scope of classic policing, which require specialized skills. <laughs> He also runs a company Ooh. called the Edge Shooting Academy. He definitely knows what he's doing. It's probably not the guy you want to run into <laughs> when you're stealing something. This video is pretty good. There's a two and a half minute long video of the view of the driver and the passenger in the car. They also just released a 45 second video looking out the window. It's the dude's dash cam at the robbers trying to take their stuff. Yeah. There's pucker factor number one right there. Now that one bulletproof, he'd be dead. That part you just saw right there is insane in the dash cam footage. Yeah. Let's take a look at this that. Basically what had happened nuts. is a truck full of robbers had sped ahead and then another car pulled up beside him and started mm -hmm. shooting at the driver. Obviously, it's bulletproof glass, so it didn't do anything. The guys that sped past him in the truck, though, stopped ahead, got out, and started shooting at him when he was coming up on them. Mr. Prinsloo, I'm probably, I'm sorry. I don't even know if they got any dude, shots Mr. Prinsloo here tries to run the robbers over. There's the truck of robbers. <laughs> and here comes the second vehicle. Yep, take that target out and there's the robbers on the side of the road oh, oh, oh. <laughs> honestly if it was me and i know this may not sound like a great idea but I'd try to tag the doors. That way you know what fucking vehicle it was. That way when they go to try and catch those motherfuckers, they can find their vehicle. Possibly prints, all that shit, you know? Just saying. But like I said, what the fuck do I know? Like I said, the dash cam footage is only like 45 seconds long. It cuts off right there. But our driver here with his gigantic balls of steel continues to evade all the robbers. And there's pucker factor number 27 right there. Jesus. I don't know if you guys noticed where that shot came from, but you can actually see the dude firing the gun at the passenger side. Oh 
Well, at least you know it's built well. Jesus. Run, man. Robbie. Run, Robbie. Run, Robbie. Run, Josh. Ask him where they He eventually stops the vehicle. I don't know if he got stuck or what, but he immediately grabs the rifle, jumps out, and tries to go to work. Fortunately for the robbers, they stopped chasing him a while back, or I'm sure he could have handled the situation pretty easily. He looks kind of familiar. Uh oh, you know what? I know what it is. <laughs> And I'm sure that's exactly what would have happened to the robbers if they kept following him in their non-bulletproof car. Yeah. What happened afterwards? No arrests have been made, but look, the truck got pretty banged up. Oh, got yeah. shot right you in the center. We got some say. shots over here, and then I think the passenger side has some shots on it, too. Whew. Wow. Crazy stuff. Looks oh, like he might have ran over a light pole right there, too. That's all I got for you tonight. I'm going to be over at twitch.tv slash donut operator as soon as this video is released. Come hang out. I'm going to be up pretty late tonight. Just chilling with you guys. I would love to see all your beautiful smiling wow. faces there. Until next time, everyone, please have a fantastic day. Check, check. Whacker. Yo, that shit's fucking nuts. I had no idea that he had a uh, he had his own company. That's that's awesome. Me personally, though, I would have tried to take out them fucking doors. I know, I know, I'd have hit some people, but you know, probably shouldn't be shooting at me or anybody else for that matter, unless it's because they're shooting at you. But what the fuck do I know? That's gonna be it for this one, though, guys. That dude's a badass. He can drive his ass off. Got to give it to him. Keep making them motherfuckers pay. That's all I can say. But y'all have a good one. And I'll see you in the next one. Love you, AWG fam and my XMC fam. I'm out.